Okay, greetings everyone. My name is Pedro Henrique Salomão, better known as Salomão, and I'm here to present some perspectives of a commercial aquaponics system concept. First, I'll present a business model such as the circular economy, and then our aquaponics systems concept. Then I'll I'll present some market potential and challenges that we found here in Brazil. And thirdly, I'll present AKP Brazil and its projects, including AKP Pro and AKP Shawa. By the end, the closure and my greetings. And so, a circular economy has a major role in the development of the future. Here in Brazil, a government initiative in 2019 a circular economy and a life cycle analysis. And the main goal of this project is to contribute through research, development and innovation to boost sustainable development and the circular economy and bioeconomy and transform this knowledge into results. Mexico, Chile and Uruguay are also part of this project. Uh, here we see a scheme of the obsolete linear economy that generates tons of waste during its process. And on the blue image, the scheme that represents what circular economy means. That is, the better use of resources we have or some innovation that does not lead to the generation of waste. In aquaponics, we've been inspired by the way the nature cycle its nutrients. By integrating aquaculture and hydroponics, we imitate what happened on the earth. Here I present a scheme that remember as importance of the microbiotics in that process. Generally, 50% of the nutrients inside a fish feed is excreted back to the water. In that way, we should not waste it. We must use it for the plants. Now I present the concept that we as AKP Brazil developed. This is a both couple and a decouple system. By using an external reservoir and a low fish density, we were able to produce food without any effluent. The water from the external cistern fills the system and once full, it starts to recirculate. Whenever the water evaporates or leaks, it brings more water from the external cistern to be full again. Once the system has matured, we return that water from the mineralization process back to be diluted on the reservoir. This system is focused on the plant production and it generates 500 lettuces a week here in the NFT and up to 200 tomato plants that leads to a point 5,000 kilos of tomatoes a year. That's in the Dutch buck system over here. And also make 300 kilos of fish per cycle, making use of all fish feed nutrients and with zero effluents. That's another example of the same concept. The difference is that we consider this a decouple system on demand. Here we produce tomatoes. The external system is filled with rainwater and supply the system. Inside, we recirculate that water into a RAS over here. And then as the plants demand, we provide the nutrients to them, usually during the early stages where the plant need more nitrogen. It generates two tons of fish per cycle and up to 3,000 tomato plants that produce 21,000 kilos of tomato a year. This type of systems needs supplementation. And once again, with zero effluents and 100% of nutrients uptake. And now I'm going to talk about the market. 
and I'd like to show the potential that organic products have here in Brazil. Here we see the Brazilian regions and the distribution of organic producers, mainly on the shore, where the overpopulated areas are. It's over here. Um, and here we see in this graphic the growing economic gains with organic production here in Brazil, up to 6.5 billion in the year of 2021. This other image shows the growth of 10% a year of this sector. And here we can see that Rio Grande do Sul is on the top five organic producers and the number of organic producers here in Brazil. Fairs and supermarkets customers are increasingly looking for this type of product. And this type is a type that is not fulfilled with pesticides like some vegetables producing in the conventional agriculture system. The news here is pointing that in average, each Brazilian ingests up seven liters of pesticides a year. That is shown as a potential because in aquaponics, we cannot add those pesticides. But does can aquaponics be considered organic here in Brazil? Well, first, to be an organic product, it must be obtained within an organic production system or sustainable extraction, which benefits the local ecosystem, protects natural resources, respects the social, economic, and cultural characteristics of the local community, preserves the rights of the workers involved, and does not use genetically modified organism or organisms or synthetic chemicals. So it kind of does, however, and that's the tricky part, to get the certification, one must use soil. So no, we can't. In that matter, it is impossible to certificate an aquaponic system as organic here. Well, the first challenge I'd like to show is the one that AKP Brazil together with ABBA are going to create the seal a seal to add value to products and attract people to invest in aquaponics production. And this will warm up the market similarly to what happened with the organic production. ABBA is the Brazilian Aquaponics Association that unites several producers and some companies to unify the ways of doing aquaponics. We are now focused on developing the first Brazilian aquaponics seal. Other challenge I'd like to present is to expand the research on techniques according to the local climate. Since Brazil is such an extent country, it is needed to develop a specific technique to each climate and to each market. Specific inputs for aquaponics add value to the products, bring consumer awareness, uh, organization of the aquaponics production chain. This image shows an example of an industrialized production where each agent do its part with no leftovers and no losing points. And to get legal recognition. Once we have the seal, we intend to contact the ministry and officialize this type of agriculture here in Brazil. Well, now I'd like to introduce the team and the projects of AKP Brazil, our company that is born on July 2016. Diego de Medeiros is our administrative manager and has recently completed his doctorship in materials engineer in the area of crushed stone remineralization. Dr. Rubens Kausman is a former professor and senior consultant at AQP Brazil, also work with remineralization process. And myself, Pedro Henrique Salomão, a veterinary that specializes in fish production and later on in the aquaponics production. The first project I'd like to show is the IKP Educa, a small-scale aquaponics that intends to create opportunities for learning and teaching. It is a grow bed that could be used at an exper experimentation lab outside the class. It has 1.2 cubic meters in the fish tank and 1.2 square meters on the planting area. Uh, here are some images showing 
the AKP Duca and some other initiatives. The kids really loved interaction with fish. Here, we also see a partnership with Aldeia da Fraternidade and Emater, where we build a small system with different aquaponics techniques. Here we can see an NFT, uh, the floating technique and the grow bed technique. Emater is an institution that promotes sustainable rural develop development through the provision of technical assistance, rural and social extension, classification and certification services for the benefit of our society in Rio Grande do Sul. Each state has its kind of, has its type of emater. Um, in this partnership, we also make some courses in pisciculture. And inspired by that, we develop our own aquaponic course in our, in our own installations. Here, the first uh, photo that we have of our, of our practical courses, a face-to-face -face where we have more than 100 students that already formed with us here at AKP Pro during our, our course. And during pandemics, we also develop an online version and some free classes on YouTube. AKP Brazil also connected some fish producers and helped them to organize into an association of fish farmers, such as Aquatree. In that matter, they can get, guarantee access to financial to put on their projects. We've been part as well as the first symposium of sustainable strategies in fish processing that happens on Fe Valley University. As part of this movement, AKP Brazil provides tilapias we ate at some fancy dinners during the Peixaria events. So here, uh, an example of what can we do to add value in an aquaponics product. And that lead us to some traveling around the world. By doing all this, in 2018, we were invited to visit Berlin at the Glasshouse Aquaponic by a project led by Hosoma, a German, comp a German company. And they visit our facilities and we visit theirs. It was a very pleasant uh, week. So... To present the AKP Pro project, I will tell you how it was born. So, 2016, when we create the company, this project also uh, will also be created. And later on that year, we submitted to a national selection of innovative technologies by Sebrae and won an important amount of money enough to materialize it. Sebrae, Sebrae is the Brazilian service of support to micro and small enterprises as an entity that supports and encourages the creation, expansion and modernization of micro and small companies in the state, enabling them to effectively fulfill their role in the development of process, development process, economic and social. So with that money, we were able to install our first commercial aquaponics system. It has 510 square meters and an external reservoir of 180 cubic meters of rainwater. Inside the greenhouse, it is divided into fish farming in a recirculatory aquaculture system, a RAS, the sanitation zone, and the hydroponics area. Here from another angle, that's uh, the, the RAS, the sanitation zone, the hydroponics area, and the external reservoir. Here on the bottom left, we may see a shelter where we store wood and we use to heat up water during the winter. 
this project was installed uh, at 50 kilometers from the capital of Rio Grande do Sul, that's Porto Alegre, and it's close, it's pretty close to the market. Some images of the installation process. Here we learn that we must make the, the holes before we install the greenhouse, not after. So here, the schematic view I showed earlier that represents that system. external cistern fills up with rainwater, the system inside, the water here is cycled, and when it's matured, return the mineralized water back to the cistern, and whenever the system needs, the external reservoir supplies with uh, rainwater. And it's a 100% nutrient uptake and zero effluents. Here an image of the actual project. And inside the, the installation, a RAS with two tanks of 10 cubic meter, a decantation filter, and the biofilter. Here, in each tank, works with a density of 20 kilograms per cubic meter and produce up to 3,000 juveniles of 50 grams in a two month space time. Uh, considering some climate variation, sometimes we rear a six month cycle tilapia at the same density and on an average of 580 grams per fish. That's the hydroponics NFT area where we produce lettuces, grass, more lettuces. See the patternization of the production here. Um, and in a more general view, the NFT production and the bucket system, the Dutch bucket system production, where we cultivate um, basil. Tomato, cucumber, uh, um, rosemary, and oregano, and some some others, some other type of, of vegetables. Here you can see a uh, chive and some parsley over there. And by the end. These were the products that we learned how to manage that include tomatoes, juveniles of tilapia, carps, uh, lettuces, grass, tomatoes, I've already said tomatoes, um, chive, parsley, and some, some other greenish vegetables. This graphic was built based on the publication entitled the aquaponics food production from the Simon Godek and we put our costs our fixed costs to to show that is not uh, a far from what the the publications have shown now we got most percentage of the resource going to labor that represents 41% the, the, the rest is divided in electric energy and some inputs. The inputs are finger lead, fingerlings, seedlings, fish feed, and supplementation. The other costs are shown here and represent less than 7% of our costs. This system consumes something around 500 to 800 kilowatts month of electricity and pays up to 4,000 reais a month. So, so this commercial aquaponic module of 510 square meters costs approximately 
300,000 reais and has a payback in 2.5 years. Sorry. Now I'd like to present our latest project from the Aquaponia Shawa. The owner made the practical course with us and decided to have his own project. The operation starts at September of 2021. It is located in Rio de Janeiro and it has 1880 square meters of greenhouse and a 380 cubic meters of a reservoir of rainwater. So that's the schematic view I showed earlier that represents the system. It is a mirrored system. So whatever happened this side happens on the other side. Again, with zero effluence and 100% uptake of the nutrients. Here, a ge general view of the system. And on the left here, you may see the support house to store fish feed, the multi-parameter probe, and other equipments, water inputs, such as nutritional supplementation. Yeah. And here, this image of the external reservoir of 380 square uh, cubic meters of rainwater, and it's covered to, minimi to minimize uh, the evaporation. Sun there is very intense, especially during the, the summer. So inside the pisciculture, we can see we, we can have four tanks of 17 cubic meters, each one with a decantation tank and a biofilter for each side of the system. Here we are cultivating ornamental carp. In the hydroponics, we are cultivating up to 3,000 tomato plants in 24 lines of a bucket system. And those are some products we generated during this, this year-long process. A candied tomato and box of 250 grams of fresh tomatoes. And that is up to more than 20,000 boxes of those a year, the estimation that we have. And some photo of the the production inside the, the hydroponics area. So this concept of a commercial aquaponics module of 1880 square meters, it has this cost of approximately 700,000 reais and a payback estimated two to three years. It's, uh, it's estimated because we're still understanding the local market and we hope that we we pay it soon enough. Yes. So as closure, I'd like to point some aspects of the aquaponic production within the circular economy logic. Regarding the climate change, the, re the raining seasons uh, are shortened every year. The fertilization crisis makes no sense if we include the mineralization process on the production. Human, aliment, human alimentation without pesticides, it's a demand that, and a necessity to ensure our survival. The um, circular economy and the life cycle anal analysis as a logic to be followed and say that AQP Brazil is here to help disseminate and to ensure quality of aquaponic process. And finish, I must say that whenever the market is not defined yet, we can only cooperate. Thanks for your attention. Be safe and eat well.